discussing it and making sure that these aren't uh, investments that defy the purpose of the charity. All those being said, at the, at the Planning and Zoning Committee, I think we were, we were both there. Uh, it was clear from the Salvation Army's perspective they perceived this as a joint investment, as a partnership, uh, because it has certain benefits for the city that, are, uh, that involve things the Salvation Army wouldn't normally do. Salvation Army is still committed to that, uh, but it needs some support from the city and if it is and, and if it is an imposition of an unknown expense the salvation army of course would have to go through many miles of approvals before they could approve something a, a number they don't even know this is an indefinite number that we haven't priced and we could have done some things if we had known that it was a hundred percent stipulation because we, we had about a month or so um, so it's, it's with that, I ask that the vote please move forward so that Salvation Army's uh, not else doesn't fall outside of its contingency states. Um, I will tell you that it's been, a, uh, it's been a rigid negotiation, I'll just say it that way. So the Salvation Army uh, is at risk if we cannot get this approved. Uh, in meeting its contingencies deadline, and we have no assurance that Schnooks will extend it. Uh, and then that, and I can tell you, I've worked with the Salvation Army for many years. If they give you your word uh, as a member of the community, they'll stick to it. Uh, it's just that it's a request that they haven't grappled with. They don't know the fiscal impact. Um, they're not in the business of doing that kind of historic restoration on uh, personal property and things like that. Uh, but in good faith, the assurance is made that as part of the community, and I think you've gotten to know them over the past few weeks, yes. they will jump. Uh, you say jump, and they will, they will ask how high, and they will support your community in emergencies. Uh, their disaster relief folks will be there for you. Uh, they'll be an anchor tenant here. Uh, but this was a surprise, and, and unfortunately, Mr. Story doesn't have the authority He's not nimble like that, like a sole business owner to make decisions that would have to be made at a territorial level. Um, so yeah, I just have to understand that Mr. Talley and Mr. Jojo do not have that ability to speak for the board either. And we are here to speak for the residents. Yeah, the board, okay. the planning zoning board uh, is only a recommendation to the board, not the approval of what to be done. Absolutely. The final decision is made up here. Absolutely. And we and have heard from it and misunderstanding. Right. Thank We've you. Heard My heard president is about a do that. Sir. One car time. I'm sorry. Go ahead. You got it? Okay. And so we've heard nothing about a partnership. We've had no discussion amongst ourselves about this. And I don't know how we can make a decision tonight being put on the spot. I, don't see I mean, you guys have done a wonderful job in the community in the last five days. And, and I really, I, I didn't know that this was going to be put in writing from what we, our last meeting, it was put in writing that you guys had a list of things that had to be done that you could occupy. I actually just saw that for the first time today, too. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, the sticking point, obviously, is the unknown factor of uh, what the cost of the sign would be. The board can't make an informed decision. If we, have, if the board doesn't go ahead and approve it tonight, then the sign would be, would be on you to fix completely. So I guess that uh, that's the way the the, read, the ordinance will read. So uh, it's a, yeah, it's a conditional conditional use. Yeah. Right. So it would be your responsibility, so the Army's to fix the sign and get to the work prison tonight. So uh, we can move forward with that, and, you, and then... That's a decision you yeah, with our leadership support that's here, we will fix the sign in its entirety, and, and uh, we will bear all the cost. And uh, we do not expect digital LED lighting or anything like that. We just expect the super to be in working condition. I will inspect it. And, we get, we'll go from there. Yeah, we've got a few lighting companies that um, have done some neon for us in the past, so we'll uh, go out to them and make sure it's uh, historically repaired uh, correctly and back to its uh, old glory from the back of the day. Appreciate that. Sorry about the confusion. There. Yeah, sorry about the confusion on our part, too. Thank you. That's love awesome. Love you. We, we welcome you to the community. We're looking forward yeah, to Yeah, we are, too. Yeah, and one of the things I was going to bring up, too, um, is um, I had my myself and another engineer out last week looking at the site and, and 
based on the list that you came up with, we had the identical same list to fix everything on site. Uh, we know that we're inheriting a uh, lot of deferred maintenance and um, probably for what we're doing, we'll only need a little over 100 parking spots and there are several hundred. As you know, it's kind of a concrete jungle. So we're been flipping around the idea of actually taking a lot of the parking out and actually making it into green space. Uh, which will kind of beautify the space uh, and the property. And uh, you know, from a selfish standpoint, it'll kind of cut down on our runoff and the amount of uh, uh, money that we have to pay for MSD on a yearly basis, as well as uh, asphalt maintenance over the next uh, several decades that will occupy the site. So. Great, thank you. Other questions? Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Again, I just want to reiterate, we really do appreciate everything. Uh, thanks. That's uh, our that's our EDS uh, group spread and butter. So they were very excited to help you guys out. Yeah, our uh, EDS director is well, probably one of the best in the country for what he does. So yeah, well, thank you. I appreciate the accolades. Thank you very much. Thanks. Are there any other proponents? Are there any other proponents? Are there any opponents? Are there any opponents? Close to special use. Public hearing for that. I'll now understand a motion to approve the special use permit for 106 Street Four St. Charles Rock Road. So moved. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Good luck with everything. We look forward to working with you. Thank you.